Achieving gender diversity is both a challenge and an opportunity. Forward-thinking companies who are able to put these programs in place can really make a difference. They can differentiate themselves in the marketplace, they can be attractive to recruits and be able to build a pipeline of committed employees for the future. There's a big shift in generational mindsets. We see that millennial men, they have much more progressive attitudes versus older men. And this is shaped both by their experiences growing up as well as their roles in their family right now. So younger men we see are really much more attuned to diversity challenges of the future. Based on our survey, of more than 17,000 respondents working in multinational corporations in more than 21 countries, we see that younger men are far more aligned with women about attitudes in the workplace. Millennial men were more likely to identify the most critical issues that women say they face, such as retention and work-life balance than older men. Whether or not they have children, millennial men are much more likely to rate family leave and on-site childcare as more important versus men over 40. And as a result, we see that their ratings are much more aligned with women of all ages. The data shows that millennial men are much more willing to change their behaviours to make the intervention succeed. You can see that in ways where they are willing to change the routine meetings, they are also more willing to measure performance based on outcomes rather than the hours put in. Lastly, we see that millennial men are much more willing to hire from non-traditional pools as well as to undergo bias reduction training. Leaders can really start shifting their organisations to prepare for this change in five new ways. Number one, get men more involved in diversity programmes. When men are involved, diversity programmes tend to be more successful. And you can do different things, such as getting them involved in sponsorships, uh, having them be involved in flex work models. And when men are involved, especially the older men, uh, make sure you celebrate their successes. Number two, offer flexible policies to all gender. Let it be seen that the policies are not just programs for mothers of young children, but for everybody. Number three, consider creating a support network for parents with young children. Parents with young children often have unique needs and it's good to help them to connect with each other. Number four, focus the business case for diversity towards men who are age 40 and older. Um, these older men are often the middle and senior managers that women have to work with in their day-to-day -day life in organisations. And if they don't buy into the need for advancement and retention, these diversity programmes will not be successful. Once these measures are in place, make sure you communicate them as part of your recruiting strategy.